How to add a gradient fill layer in Photoshop. Quickest and easiest way is to go to Layer Menu and New Fill Layer and Gradient. Well, that in the earlier versions is the quickest way. Personally, I prefer to go to Gradients Panel. Gradients Panel, which you can find in the Window Menu and Gradients. So with that, you've got all these gradients. Now yours might be different from mine. You might have many different ones. If you haven't got the legacy gradients, go to the right side menu over here, click there, and you've got an option, legacy gradients. Just select that, and that will bring in all those legacy gradients of previous versions. Also, you can append default gradients. These are the purples, pinks, reds, etc. Now to add a gradient fill layer, and it's just a special type of layer, just with gradient information, no information of pixels, images, etc. You can simply select and drag, and there it is. You can see there, layers panel, and you can see your gradient fill layer. Now you can add more than one. You can simply hold down the ultra option key, that's on the keyboard, and you can drag, and it will add an additional one. You can then blend and mix them in different ways. But I'm only just going to work with one. And I can, with that selected, you can select any of these other ones. Simply click like that, just go through them, and you can change it. As long as that's selected, it will change here in the display. Also, what you can do is you can go over here, and let's just move this out of the way now, don't need that. You've got this layer, and you can, now you've also got a mask there as well. You can change the name if you wish as well, but double click. And you can see this panel. Now you've got options here for style, so you can go for radial, so you can change it, maybe make it circle design. You can also go for angle and so on. There's a variety of different options, five. I'm gonna go with linear. You can change the angle, so you can move it around like that, that angle, that angle, and you can keep it at the top if you wish. Now you'll notice you've got the orange there, there's the orange, there's the purple down there. That's just going upwards. If I go the other way, You'll see what happens, the orange goes down the bottom, purple up the top. And you can, of course, modify, reverse, click there, so you can see it does exactly the same thing. Dither, also, at any point, you can always align it. So if, say, you've moved it like that, you want the colors back to what it was, you can always reset alignment just by clicking that button there. You've also got method as well. You've got perceptual, by default, and go there, linear. And you can see it's just a subtle change, but it's still using the same colors. Also classic, you've got again, same colors, but it's just tweaked it. That's the original version of the gradient fill layers. Now you've got these additional two methods as well, perceptual, etc. To edit the gradient, you might think, I don't want orange. I don't want orange. You can just click there and you can see what happens, you get these Color stopped. You've got all the gradients here, just as before. You can change here the type. You've got here solid. That's what that is. It's a solid gradient, solid colors. And you've got noise. And I think noise is great as well. You can change and tweak it in thousands of different ways just by running through it. You've got randomized features as well. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go with just solid. You can select here and you can change the colors. You can go down here foreground color, user color, you can select, click there, and maybe decide I want purple like that. Or go here, select it, and that's the key thing, select it, and click there, and then go with green, say. So you've got a completely different color. You've got green and now this light violet color. And these stops can be moved. So you've got here, you can just go to this there, and you can see you can move it around. You can reposition it so you can make the purple Fill the entire screen simply by just dragging it across right crunched up against the green. Or you can go the other way. Just go to this one, select the green, and you see you select it there, and just drag. And as you do that, you can see the green just dominates the whole thing then. Or you can go that way. Now you can also select here. And I have to say, sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Doesn't seem to be working well with me today. <laughs> just doesn't seem to want to select. You should be able to select that central bit, that midpoint, and you can make that go closer or further away. Now, I don't know why it does not seem to want to let me select it. 
doing this run. So it's just refusing to. But you should be able to select it. That's always the way with tutorials. That wasn't the point of this video. That's why I'm not. I'm just going to keep it. But be aware, you can modify this. It's just not doing it now. You notice along the top, you've also got these options as well. This is slightly confusing in the sense you've got this top one, which is the opacity or transparency for the gradient, and you've got the colours along the bottom. Well, what you can do, you can select that one, and you've got exactly the same. You've got this stop again, and maybe it might even let me... Oh, it does this time. I wonder if it'll let me do... If I go to that one... Yeah. Yes! <laughs> does let... Occasionally it does let you suddenly get it. So you can see you can drag it. That's what I've been trying to do all along, but it just wouldn't seem to select it. So you can move it back and forth and you can see you can change, make it more green, more violet. Of course, much the same as before, just by simply moving it. Though the result is slightly different. So, However, you've got this opacity one. At the moment, it's black and black there. And that's 100%. You can just go there. And you can turn it around and just it goes closer and closer to white. And as you do that, you'll notice it's like 1% or 0%. It's transparent. So you can see through to the layers below without changing the blend mode and all those sort of things, the opacity. But you can modify that. So it's quite nice. Create some interesting effects as well. Worth checking out. Certainly not to be ignored. So you got that. Put it there. Okay. And again, do exactly the same. So if you've got a different... Let's just reduce the opacity again. Let's hope I can select it this time. Yes. Sometimes it lets you. Sometimes it doesn't. And you can move back and you can see you get more or less opacity in that gradient. Now, you've got this. And I'm just going to remove that. You can remove it any time. You can add stops by clicking there. So just click. Click at any point. Just click there. Click at that point. Click there. And you can see as you do that, you add additional stops. The colour matches this colour, the one you use, which I think is quite useful because you might just want that colour all the way through. Because if you go over here, select this green one, say, you can then go over here and select add a green one. Let's just change the opacity again, put it back to 100%. So you can see it more clearly. Select the green, then click here again, and it uses the green still. Doesn't forget that. So you can still continue to add additional stops with the same colour. Some applications don't do it that way. They do blend between, say, you've got black and black and red or something. It will blend between red and black or whatever. But here, it will just use the current last selected colour. And you can click there. So you can add another one, click there, and so on. So you can build up some very interesting column designs or ring designs. But also what you can do, if you say, oh, you know what? I don't want it in that position. You want it closer there. Just move it as before. Or simply just drag, and that will remove it. Drag and removes it again. Again, select there. Ah, now as I say, it does let me select change the midpoint. Obviously, because that's green and that's green, there's no difference. But if I go there, select that, and drag, you can see there's more green or there's more purple between that gradient. Now, unfortunately, Photoshop doesn't offer a great range of other features when it comes to gradients. Hasn't been updated for ages. I would love to see like a rainbow between or counterclockwise ways of applying colours. Some applications have that feature. Unfortunately, Photoshop doesn't. Doesn't have a randomised feature that I would love to see. There's lots of different things that would be really nice to see with gradients, but there's not there. Once you're happy with that, so you decide, you know what? I want to save this. Now, if you click OK at this point, you can use it. You can use your gradient. But say you want to keep this. The way to do this is click New. So click New, and then you can see your gradient there. It saves it to the preset. And click OK. And then, of course, once you're happy with it, you can still modify things, move things. Now, weirdly... This seems to be a bug issue again. There's a couple of issues. I <laughs> just again tutorials when you're running through tutorials. Before, when I was editing, I could move it around. For some weird reason, it doesn't seem to do it anymore. That's strange. Anyway, 
So best thing is, perhaps, is to position it in the way you want, do the editing, and then come out, and then click OK. Perhaps when you go in again, double click. Yes, now you, you can move it. I think that's a bit of a bug. Click OK. And that's a run through of some of the gradient features. My apologies for some fact that some of the options didn't seem to work, such as the midpoint. Very useful feature, but if it doesn't select, sometimes it just seems to completely ignore. I don't know why, very odd. And likewise, that I've noticed that before, where it freezes, where you can't move the gradient for some weird reason. Doesn't make sense, but it doesn't move. But it does work itself out if you go back into it again. And at any point, you can always double click and you've got your grade in there, and you can, of course, then click it again and continue to modify it and change the color. Just click there, maybe go with greens or black, and you've got a different color. And again, with that selected, you can click here, click there, and add even more colors to your gradient. Not always the best thing, adding more gradient, obviously more stops, but it's still, if you want to create very interesting, colorful effects, sometimes it's really good to do that. And again, you've got options here, radial, so you can create a nice circular design. Again, notice it doesn't move afterwards. Click OK. But if I click here, now it does. Very strange. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Thank you much.